Yeah. Okay. Whew. Before I really, really get fired up here, let me give you the Cliff Notes version of this. I just went on a &E's YouTube channel on their... Um, their announcement, City Confidential returns to A&E Thursday, October 28th at 10 p.m. Eastern Pacific Time. The Conservative Pelican, of course, that's yours truly. I just typed in, I just watched the new 2021 episode of City Confidential. And I, and I have to say, it's the worst revival ever. Did the producers of the 2021 edition even watch one single episode of the 1998-2005 edition? This show is just is now just another copycat of 48 Hours, Dateline, or Investigation Discovery. The new City Confidential discusses Oil City for a grand total of three minutes. And then the rest of the hour is just generic crime story fluff. Ugh. One more thing. The narrator is so bland. I understand no one can replace the legendary Paul Winfield, but I bet Dennis Haysbert could have been available. Yeah. It's bad. Now let me backtrack a little bit, give you the full version of this video. Okay. Over the last couple of months, the A&E Television Network has been bringing more true crime program into its schedule, similar to what the channel uh, was 20 years ago, uh, before they went off on that reality cliff in about 2007. In August, they brought back the foundation of that great true, true, true crime era in American justice. And it was really good for a revival. Uh, despite changing narrators from Bill, Bill blah, 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 despite changing narrators from Bill Curtis to Dennis Haysbert and losing the wonderful original theme music. Ch -ch 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 -ch, the show was still about 90% of its greatness from the late 90s. So about three weeks ago, I read a press release on a website called the Futon Critic. Plug, by the way, for their website. If you ever, everything you want to know about what's happening in TV and movies, what's coming up, what's getting canceled, all that stuff, it's on the Futon Critic. Okay. Um, the article stated that A and E is bringing back the show City Confidential. As soon as I finished reading that news, fireworks are going off in my brain. Kind of like, you know, as, as as a single guy when I see a beautiful woman, you know, kind of the same feeling, I guess you could say. <laughs> okay, so while American Justice is a show I like, City Confidential is one of my top ten all-time favorite shows. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if you had to put me on a deserted island for the rest of my life and I could only watch ten TV shows, you better believe City Confidential would be on that list. Okay, so why do I like City Confidential so much? Well, here's the thing. The number one reason is that it is not, not your normal true crime documentary show, such as 48 Hours, Dateline, or 995% of the program that's on Investigation Discovery. Sephir just disappeared. That's a great show. And there are many series they did on Pamela Smart. It was really good, too. I'll give them credit for that. But the original City Confidential tells, told you a, a true crime story, but it also complements it so well with a guided tour of the town or city where the crime took place. And there was a certain, as, as you were watching um, this early 2000s hit, um, there was this sort of ambiance that you were actually there in the town, you know, and you were, they had such wonderful background music, which unfortunately, you know, these, these shows nowadays just have no concept of what background music is. It's just, oh, it's just so awful, so awful. But back to the original uh, CC, they also give you a history of the town, and they tell you about certain points of interest, gardens, parks, you know, what people like to do for fun around there, where they like to go. And they usually mention a couple of local businesses and restaurants where the locals like to gather the talk, you know, the talk of the town. Another plug for, for a great radio show um, in Greenville, North Carolina, by the way. <laughs> 
Now, what I just described to you is the original City Confidential, which ran for 134 episodes from 1998 to 2005. But unfortunately, what I just described is not the new 2021 edition, okay? Yeah, we're going to get into this now, and I'm going to try to pull off the band-aid here as gently as I possibly can with this bad with this bad news I'm going to get into. Okay, so this revival of City Confidential pr- premiered on the evening of October 28th of 2021. And the show begins very differently from the original. It starts with a black and white disclaimer with text only. <clears throat> but I'm going to read it to you in my best um, Unsolved Mysteries disclaimers voice. The following program contains disturbing accounts of physical and sexual violence. Some of the names have been changed to have been changed to protect privacy. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so after that black and white disclaimer, which was absolutely nothing like the uh, unsolved mysteries disclaimer, um, we get a few shots of the town. These are just really, really cheaply done drone shots of the town. And we hear three different people speak while we get these cheap shots of the town. And then about a minute later, we get a really, really lame, unscary theme song. And then finally, one minute and 49 seconds. Yes, almost two freaking minutes into the show. We actually hear the name of the town they're going to profile. And tonight it was Oil City, Pennsylvania. Now compare that with an original episode of City Confidential. You start watching. You get a nice scene of the town. You use some park or point of interest or even the downtown at eye level. None of this cheaply done drone BS, by the way. Okay, but then the very first words that are spoken are the name of the town. Followed with a few sentences describing the town. Then they briefly mention the crime that took place. And then we get a nice creepy theme music for about 30 seconds. Okay, so unfortunately in the first two minutes of the new City Confidential, I'm finding out this is only going to be the City Confidential in name only. They should just call it generic crime story. Any town USA. <laughs> but like the original City Confidential, it would start like this. Conway, South Carolina. A nice bucolic southern town which is trying to maintain its southern charm with the onslaught of development from Myrtle Beach. Conway is a closely knit community. So closely knit, so so closely knit that a murder among friends took place here some years ago. And they go and they do the theme music and everything like that. Okay. So back to the new City Confidential. After the theme music, for the next 30 seconds, we get a brief history. Followed by a brief current description, and this is followed by a brief current description of the town by a retired police chief. Then they describe the importance of Halloween in Oil City, which for a small town, it's kind of really, I mean, Halloween is pretty important in a lot of small towns, not just Oil City. It's like, <sighs> then at 317, the producers of the new City Confidential basically give the middle finger to any more talk of being a show about travel and places and just go into a generic crime drama format. Yeah, so for the next um, 56 minutes, there is no mention of any points of interest in the town, except for a brief 30 second clip of a railroad bridge about 15 minutes into the episode. But there's no local water and hole or hangouts mentioned or visited in the show. This is just another 
dime a thousand crime story that you can watch on any channel at any time but I'm not done yet ah, let's talk about the narrator do I have to mention his name yeah okay actor Michael Mike Coulter is the narrator and he sucks he is so bland it, it, he's just the perfect cherry on top of this Sunday of feces okay it's just you know if, if you have a crappy show which the new city confidential most certainly is hey go ahead and have a crappy narrator I mean it's just oh my gosh I can't believe the producers could not get Keith David or Dennis Haysbert. I mean, nobody can replace legendary host Paul Winfield, who passed away in 2004, by the way, but come on, man. Ugh. So, uh, this new version is so boring, and, and gosh, I was, I was like, after... <laughs> After the first 10 minutes of this show, I so wanted to turn it off. It was so bad. So boring. Okay. But it leaves the viewer with, like... I, I had a lot of questions about Oil City, Pennsylvania. Where in Pennsylvania is this, you know? What's, you know, the closest city? Uh, how big is the town? Does it have a Walmart? Does it have a shopping center? You know, uh, does it have an Olive Garden? I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, I still have those questions. Okay, another thing, the scenery so darn repetitive. Okay, and then there was about 20, 25 minutes in, there was mention of a pizza place where the suspect worked and the victim's family and friends visited often. Uh, this should have been a focal point of the show, but unfortunately it was not. So that was a big missed opportunity there. I mean, if, if, if you're doing a show that's supposed to be about as much about the town that it takes place as much about the town as is the crime wouldn't you want to learn more about this pizza place what's the pizza place you know what's their their uh their popular dish is it a family business is it a domino is it a papa john's you know is it a pizza place funded by mafia money well, what is this pizza place okay <sighs> conclusion my rating on this I would give it a zero, 0 out of 10 if I could, but I'm a nice guy. Now, I'm going to give this a 1 out of 10, okay? This is the worst series revival I've ever watched. This is even worse than, than Unsolved Mysteries with Dennis Farina. This is so bad, okay? So I'll give him a 1 out of 10 because I'm a nice guy and they decided to bring the show back. But other than that, this show, in the words of Joe Pesci, is dog shit. It's dog shit. So please save yourself some time and do not, do not, or be, do not watch this new City Confidential if you are a long-time passionate fan of the old one like I am. If you've never seen City Confidential before, just please, even if you've never seen this show before, please go and watch the old episodes. Do not watch this new one. It, it is just pathetic. It really is. You know? Oh my gosh. And if you're a longtime fan, please save yourself from being pissed off. Please save yourself from the the um the anger and the resentment and do not watch the new one. And please A and E, you know <laughs> Look, if you're gonna put out a bunch of dog shit like this, can you at least release all the old episodes of City Confidential, not just half of them, on your paid five dollar a month subscription service, huh? I mean, really, oh yeah, yeah, it's just terrible. <laughs> as uh, as one of my old classmates would say, terrible, terrible, terrible. Well, the new City Confidential, you are the weakest link. Goodbye.